Edis, Norman, TDX. This is my tutorial on basic color correction, maybe more towards advanced, it's not so basic, but I will explain everything you need to know so that you can find your way. Let me start with showing you the differences between before and after and then you can tell me by yourself what did you think so this would be the clip before um, and what we did had on set was a spot the light we spotted it as narrow as possible to hit it on the subject and what we tried to achieve later on in post this which is sort of kind of final result you're looking for kind of nice hollywood style i want to talk about three things about final cut projects color correction let me select the clip. You need first to bring up the inspector. You can do this here by clicking this little icon. Basic color correction, one correction, right there, correction. Here's the button to add correction, hide correction, add correction. You can add as many as you want. So for now, I'm just gonna work on two. I'm gonna switch this second one off. And I'm gonna just work on the first basic one. All of these things are based on the same concept. This is a global adjustment. This is the shadows. You can see there are global shadows, mid-tones, high-tones. So how many percent? This is exposure. This is the easiest way to see how this affects. This affects the shadows. So if I bring out the shadows, this affects the mid-tones. You see, you can still see all the dark colors, but you're affecting the mid-tones, even if I bring this down. And this affects the high-tones. Globally, all of them and then we go to saturation it's the same principle if you want to have all the mid-tones really saturated and you can see how this affects the footage and now it's the color the most useful tool as well um, because you can bring colors down if you bring all the colors down you're also getting darker the point it's not to just add a color and be happy the point is to play with color saturation and exposure this area here, how it works is that if you're going towards the color, you're adding the color. The footage is very bluish. And if I go down, I'm taking the color away. So if the footage was warm, I'm going away. I'm making it cold. It looks cold, almost blue. See? It's a complementing. You can also see what is complementing what. Opposite of yellow color, it's blue color. Opposite of red color, it's green color. Opposite of green color, it's red color. You see how this works? It's very simple to understand. But you want to play around with this just enough, just a little bit, because everything you do has an enormous effect here. So you want to make it a bit, a bit greenish, or a bit, a bit blue, or a bit, a bit purple. You want to go towards a certain tone. And then you go to saturation. You can just do it globally. So if you want a more vivid colors, and then you go towards exposure. You need exposure to your liking, bring down the shadows, bring down the mythos, and bump it on the high tones. Just like that. And now you can go back to color and say, okay, I don't want it so green, I want it more, more Hollywood-like. It's between green and blue, there. A bit too much red, let's go globally down on the red footage. And it's becoming blue and you get pretty good results there. I mean, that's pretty decent footage. I can play that for you. It looks much better than originally. And if I play just a final touch with exposure, I can just bring exposure down a bit more, darken it out and that's it. So that's pretty decent color correction. Now let me go to more advanced stuff. I'm just going to reset it. There's a reset button there. Reset. 